Who here likes drama? Even if we say we don't, we secretly all really do. I'm a victim of this myself, man. You know, when I see some drama unfolding in the distance from the sidelines, I still can't help but watch and, you know, be interested because, you know, it's like a dumpster fire, dude. You just can't take your eyes off it. Now, why am I bringing up drama? If you guys watched my last video, you kind of have an idea where I'm going with this, but yo, there is a new anime coming out soon that with it comes a whole hailstorm of controversy, drama, and angry Twitter users, bro. And the name of that anime is Redo of a Healer. Now, when I say that word, uh, some people in the distance probably had a fucking shiver down their spine, bro. Their whole being, their whole body, their soul must have just shook. Just me uttering that word. That is how powerful this anime is about to be in terms of its, you know, overall, I guess, uh, impact on the anime community. Now, I know some of you guys remember the anime Goblin Slayer, right? But you guys probably don't remember the anime for the anime itself. You guys probably remember the anime due to the absolute shitstorm fucking absolute tidal wave of controversy that this not even the anime it's the first episode of the anime caused the whole community bro like that absolutely shook up and like caused wars between the community dude like it was absolutely insane during that time and people are saying that redo of healer the new anime that is coming out soon i believe it airs on january 13th they are saying that it's a whole lot worse than Goblin Slayer. People are literally saying Redo of Healer makes Goblin Slayer look like Weenie Hut Juniors, dude. And me myself, I'm not an absolute edge lord where like I love all this dark, mature topics and shit like that. But I think Goblin Slayer it had its moments where you know it kind of handled its topics well. It wasn't just pure savagery. But, you know, it's still, you know, I, I'd still call it a fucked up anime. It was still pretty fucked up. And they're saying Redo of Healer is like a lot worse than that. So I've been very interested ever since I heard about it a while back ago. And since it's about to air soon, I thought I'd take a moment and talk about it uh, in this video, you know, in its entirety, because I haven't seen any of the trailers. I haven't really looked into it that much. So I thought, you know, might as well, you know, if we're getting into some drama, some controversy, might as well bring you guys along because, um, oh boy, uh, looks like this one's going to be spicy. some kind of idea about what i'm getting myself into right now from the stuff i've heard before in the past about this show and the, some of the stuff that people have told me um basically all i know is that it's about some dude that's trying to get revenge on the people that wronged him and you know that revenge is basically involves him having his way with women forcefully and some other shit i guess and that's basically the whole plot of the show the whole plot of the show is basically like suffer porn which is um pretty strange you know like i said um i'm not against mature topics and like you know like more like sensitive material being placed but you know it kind of has to have you know some type of class to it you know like if the whole show is just hentai there's no class it's just hentai now i got the trailer pulled up here we're about to watch this together for the first time i haven't seen any previews or any trailers whatsoever i've just seen some screenshots here and there i've seen like the cover art and i'm gonna be honest i kind of like the cover art though like the cover art to me looks really cool just you know the expressions of the characters but i, I kind of already know what's gonna happen in the show it's gonna be a lot of fucked up shit a lot of darkness just just a lot of pain and darkness and i'm ready for it i think <laughs> Okay, I mean, animation, character designs, right here, look, uh, look normal. The healing hero. So he's the healer. So there's different types of heroes, and he's the healer, I got you. The dog. Yo? Oh, hold on. The music's kind of bumping, though. Okay. Let the revenge begin. He got his glow up? 
I mean, I guess they aren't gonna show like the fucked up stuff in the show right now, but like to me, this doesn't look that bad so far. Okay, he looking kind of he he looking kind of crazy right there. No cap, bro. Bro, this dude looking, bro, this dude looking like mind break type beat right now. This dude looking kind of insane right here, dude. But honestly, from this trailer, I mean, I guess. Okay, so like, I guess like, um, they they're they're treating. He said, "Hey, dog, time to get to work." So I guess because like this is like they were all like different types of characters, like Cannon and shit like that. And he's the healer, and I guess you know like support and shit like that. Everyone shits on the support character, so I guess like they're treating him badly. They're trying to like fuck him up and stuff like that and torture him what and whatnot, right? So I guess he just gets his glow up and he's like, alright, it's it's my time to shine now. It's my time. I'm on demon time, bro. So I'm really curious. Because like I said, like the trailer itself, I mean I didn't expect them to show like anything sensitive in a trailer. But to me, if I didn't know beforehand what this anime entailed. I probably would have thought this was maybe just like a dark fantasy, not like a super dark fantasy where they're, you know, on some on some Goblin Slayer episode one type beat, you know, but I would think, you know, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a mature fantasy. But honestly, I think they hit it pretty well. Um, I'm not going to lie. The music was bumping. <laughs> yeah, the, that music was kind of slapping, dude. If that's the opening shit, that's going on the playlist. But um, I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't really form an opinion on it, dude, because I'm not I'm, I'm trying not to get spoiled because I actually want to watch this show and just see exactly how bad is it going to get? You know, how fucked up, how just how, how distasteful will it get? Because people right now, they're hating on it, dude. Like they are like like people like want this show to be canceled. Like this shit is apparently like <laughs> a big deal. And like I said, I heard about this like a long time ago. And like now that it's finally about to air in like 10 days, dude, I'm just curious to see exactly, you know, like <laughs> what's what's up with this show. Now, the one thing that I'm kind of concerned with actually is how they're going to actually air this, you know, because like if there's some scenes that are depicted in it that are obviously not safe for, you know, TV and stuff like that. Is the censorship just going to be going sicko mode or some shit? Just black bars, light rays, blurs all around, dude. And then they're going to release the uncensored content and stuff like that, dude. Because <laughs> I just, I can't imagine watching this. Like, bro, I'm about to be watching this on Crunchyroll. And like, I'm not going to be able to even see the anime. It's just going to be so like black bars everywhere. Actually, what the fuck am I talking about? Crunchyroll probably isn't going to pick up this show because of how fucked up it is. Honestly, guys, I don't really have too much to say. Um, I guess we'll see on January 13th when this airs but uh yeah let me know down below in the comments how you're feeling about this uh make sure to leave a like and subscribe like always guys you know it takes like two seconds it's super easy it really helps you boy out a lot i'm looking forward to not only the anime but uh what twitter has to say because you know when a uh, controversy is afoot twitter you know they're they're already on the job bruh